Some parents are pleased to see Columbia Public Schools mask rules change after winter break. Thanks for joining us tonight at 5. I'm Deborah Kendrick. We first brought you this story last night after the Columbia Board of Education voted to drop the requirement in school buildings starting next semester. ABC 17's Hannah Falcon is live after talking to parents about this change. And Hannah, many you're hearing from are actually glad to see the masks go. Deb Columbia Public Schools just sent out an email saying they're going to update their policies and procedures for contact tracing. Many CPS parents were very vocal about their disappointment in CPS's mask mandate, especially after the attorney general sent a letter to the superintendent saying that they need to drop the mask mandate immediately. I really hope that through all of this that our board and our superintendent really um, took to heart what the parents were telling them. Columbia Public Schools will drop its mask requirement and change its quarantine requirement starting January 4th when students return from winter break. Masks will not be required in any building and only students with symptoms or a positive COVID-19 test will have to quarantine. 42 students are currently out due to COVID-19. Amanda Hamlin told me her autistic child has not attended class since Thanksgiving because he cannot wear masks. Now Hamlin is glad the school is listening to her and other parents with similar stories. But there are also children like mine and many others like mine that simply can't. And I think those kids are the ones that are kind of getting left behind and forgot about. Last week, Attorney General Eric Schmidt sent a letter to school districts saying they need to immediately drop any health orders. When parents complained that CPS was still enforcing its mask policy, Schmidt followed up with another letter directed toward the superintendent and opened an investigation. While the majority of parents speaking up are against mask requirements at school, one parent at the school board meeting was concerned about the impact holiday travel may have on the spread of COVID-19. I would just like to see the mask continued until everybody's had the chance through the school district to finish their vaccination. The the attorney general has an ongoing lawsuit against CPS's mask mandate. I reached out to his office to ask what will happen now that they've dropped the mask requirement, but I haven't heard back yet. Reporting live from Columbia, I'm Hannah Falcon, ABC 17 News. Hey, Hannah, thank you. Masks will still be required on school buses because of the federal mask mandate for public transit.